Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and we're going to do problem 4.115, okay? It says, replace the three forces acting on the shaft by a single resultant force. Specify where the force acts and measure from end A. Okay, so we got this shaft over here that goes from A all the way to B. And three forces act on this shaft. So this 500 pounds that is described by this 345 triangle. 200 pounds going straight down and we got this 260 pounds that is also described by a similar triangle but a different triangle which is a 5, 12, 13 triangle okay and they want us to take these three forces and replace it by a single one force so how do we do that well what we can do is that we're going to add all the forces acting all these three forces in the x and the y direction and our resultant force is going to be the addition of all those three okay so if we're going to do that we're going to do this over here we're going to do the summatory of forces in the x direction so what do we have in the x direction so i have the negative of these 500 pounds how much I have four out of five so I have negative four out of five multiplied by 500 pounds okay and then i also have plus the amount of this 260 in the x direction so how much well i have 5 out of 13 so i got 5 out of 13 multiplied by 260 okay and let's check how much this is so if we do that, we get negative 4 over 5 multiplied by 500 and then we do plus and then we have 5 over 13 multiplied by 260 and this is equal to negative 300 pounds. So we got negative 300 pounds in the x direction. Okay, what about the y direction? So what do I have for the y direction? All of these guys are negative. So I got negative and then I have 3 out of 5 multiplied by 500. This is the amount for this one. Now I have negative 200, completely 200 going down. And then I have negative and then I have 12 out of 13 multiplied by 260. And let's check how much this one is. So if we do this, we're going to do negative 3 out of 5 multiplied by 500 minus 200 minus 12 out of 13 multiplied by 260. Okay, and this is equal to negative 740. So negative 740 pounds okay now um, if, if we want to find the magnitude of our resultant force so we got we do the magnitude of f of r and this is going to be the square root of 300 squared plus 740 squared okay now let's check this one out so we do a square root of 300 squared plus 740 squared. And this is equal to 798.5 pounds. Okay. So let's draw our new free body diagram. So if we were to redraw this system again, with our new force okay now I also need to find the angle so this angle is going to be the inverse then because I need to know in which direction this is going so we know that the opposite is going to be negative 740 divided by negative 300 let's check how much that one is with our calculator so we're going to do inverse tangent of 
negative 740 divided by 300 this is equal to 67.9 we can actually approximate it to 68 degrees okay now back to our free body diagram I didn't finish so let's say my shaft is this line okay I will have a force acting on this shaft that has a magnitude of 798.5 pounds and it has a direction of 68 degrees compared to my negative x-axis okay so this is my angle so my force will look something like this and it has a magnitude of 798 pounds. This is my angle theta. Okay? Now, this is my point A. And this is my point B. So, where is this guy located? How do I know where this guy is located? So in order to know where this guy is located, what I have to do is that I have to do that this force, the magnitude of this, the moment that this force is doing has to be the same magnitude of the moment that I had before with these three forces. So let's do that. I'm going to erase this because we already have everything that we needed. Uh, I'm going to say that this over here, so the amount is equal to 740 pounds, just for our record. Okay? So if we erase this, now, as I was telling you, my 798 pounds have to do the same moment that these three forces are doing, okay? Now, if we do the moment about my point A, what do I have? Well, the amount that this guy is doing in the X direction doesn't have any, it's actually over here, not down there, doesn't have any distance between my point A. So, this uh, X component doesn't do any moment, okay? Now, what I have left is my Y component, which is 740, so I got 740 pounds, multiplied by my distance X, which I don't know, has to be equal to the same moment that these three guys were doing. Okay, so let's check that out. So if we draw our Y component of all these three forces, these are the only forces that are going to make moments around this chat. So let's just start with my first one. I got 3 out of 5 multiplied by 500 also multiplied by the distance. So what is the distance? It's 5 feet. Okay. Plus the second one which is 200 multiplied by my distance. Well what is my distance? It's going to be 5 plus 3 is a total 8 okay plus my 12 out of 13 multiplied by 260 multiplied by the distance so what is my distance it's gonna be 5 a 10 so I have 10 okay and so we have that 740 multiplied by my distance has to be equal to the addition of all these guys. So if we do that with the calculator, let's see what we, we can get. So we got, let's see. So the first one is 3 out of 5 multiplied by 500 multiplied by 5 plus 200 multiplied by 8 plus 12 out of 13 multiplied by 260 
multiply by 10 and this is equal to 5,500. So this is total of 5,500 and this is in pounds per feet. Okay, now we solve for my distance x. I'm going to have 5,500 5, all divided by 740. And let's check that out. So we got this divided by 740. And that will give me a total of 7.43 feet. Okay, because this is in pounds and this pound will cancel with this pound over here. So we found our distance and we found the magnitude, okay? We also found our angle theta, which was equal to 68 degrees. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or any comments, just put it down below in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.